All right, today I'm talking all about the juice and the battery powered devices like this bad boy right here coming from a company called Lightly. Hopefully I said the name right, but this is the PowerHub eClair 1000 portable power station. And I'm also going to be talking about this really cool e-wagon, which is called their W1 Pro. So this is a battery powered wagon that you can take with you on the trails and stuff like that. So that'll be a first for me covering something like that. But let's start off with this bad boy right here. And I know the first thing that's kind of catching your eye here are these two things right here. And what are these well these are actually portable battery packs that you can go ahead and hit this button and now pop out and take with you on the go and this is the company's u battery plus that you can buy separately and it works with a bunch of other devices that the company makes but this comes in at 20 volts and it does have a 45 watt usb c port and an 18 watt usb type a port and this has 74 watt hours of capacity or basically around 20,000 milliamp hours as far as juice and the purpose of this with this power station is that maybe you're out camping somewhere but then now you want to go on a hike well now you can basically just go ahead and pop these out and then place these in your backpacks and now you have a way to charge up your smartphones or whatever devices that you're bringing with you and then now when you get back you can go ahead and pop them back in and the power station will go ahead and start charging them back up and it's always cool to have a device that can really basically serve two purposes but let's talk about the main power station right here and so the Seclair 1000 has a total battery capacity of 1069 watt hours so that includes the 920 watt hours of the main unit itself and also the 274 watt hour U battery plus little portable battery packs that I just showed you. And this thing can output up to 1800 watts using the AC ports on the side and also it can pick up to 2200 watts just in case you have some devices that give you a little bit of a surge. And when you do activate the AC ports the built-in fans will kick in and they're relatively quiet they're not going to wake up the neighbors or anything but the fans will kick in to help keep this thing nice and cool especially when you're using it in the summertime like I am right now. And this thing has a total of 14 ports that you can use for charging. So you have the four AC ports here on the side and then you also have two USB-C ports that come in at 100 watts and then you also have two USB-C ports that come in at 20 watts and then you also get two USB type A ports that come in at 18 watts and then also you have a DC port that goes up to 126 watts and then also you do have a car port slash cigarette lighter that you can use and then of course you have the two charging ports for the U battery plus. Then up here at the top it looks kind of like regular wireless charging but it's not but this is a pogo charging connecting point so it supports up to 80 watt charging with a compatible pogo charging station or something so i wish this was like a regular wireless charging station where i can just place my phone on but you know hey you can't get everything you want but when it comes to actually charging this itself, it takes only 59 minutes to get this thing charged from zero to 100% when you are using an AC outlet or a wall outlet. So that's pretty fast. Or you can also charge this up with some solar panels that you might have lying around. So this will support solar charging up to 400 watts and it'll take around three hours or so. And also this will support car charging up to 100 watts, but it'll take around nine hours or so to get this thing charged. So obviously this is gonna be great for taking camping with you or just going outdoors. So you have like a bad battery source that you can rely on. You have a lot of juice in here and it can power up most devices from laptops, smartphones, of course, and things. But even for like emergency uses at home, this can power a refrigerator for many, many hours. So my Samsung refrigerator comes in at around like 120 watts or so as far as juice. So this will be able to charge it for multiple, multiple hours on end just in case like the battery runs out and I don't want the food to spoil. Or you can use this for any type of medical device that you need to always have on. But if that's not enough this also can be used as a ups so ups's are used for like in my case i do a lot of video editing and if the power goes out and i didn't save my work i'm kind of screwed but if i am using this as a ups backup i can have my computer plugged into this so if the power does go out this will activate in around 10 milliseconds so i'll be able to have my computer working while my lights are out but at least i'll be able to save my project and then close it down but yeah you can use this as a ups backup for anything else that's kind of mission critical and as i do with all of my power station reviews i took this out with my little portable gaming station with my Xbox Series S and also this portable station that has a built-in monitor and built-in speakers and that entire setup only pulls in around 100 to 120 watts and they are using lithium ion batteries inside of this and over time these batteries do lose their maximum charge so right now I'm getting 100% of the battery capacity but a couple of years
years later, I might only be getting maybe around like 90% or so. So the company says that you can charge this thing up 3000 times and you should still be able to expect around 80% battery capacity. Now, I almost forgot to mention that this does have a really nice color display that gives you all of your information as far as your input and your output power. And it does have your battery life as well. And also an estimated time that this thing will be able to run when you do have a particular device or devices plugged into this. So that's really nice that it gives you an actual running time so you don't have to guess. So overall, this PowerHub Eclair 1000 is a beast. I really like the design of it too. I didn't mention that. It looks very futuristic, I would say, with the colors and stuff. But yeah, this thing has a price right now of $499, but that's the Indiegogo price. After that, the regular price will be coming in at $999. And also with the portable battery packs and the port selection, it's pretty competitive at the $1,000 price tag. But there are two things I do want to see in the next version of this. One will be an actual wireless charging pad built in to use with smartphones and stuff. And then the second thing would be a top handle to make carrying this thing around a little bit easier. So you do have two side handles, which are great for those little short trips from your car a few feet over to your campsite or something. And this 35 pound weight is with having these battery packs installed. You can take them out to shave a little bit off, but it's not going to be that much. But yeah, if you do want to go long distances, having a top handle would be better. But again, as I mentioned before, this company is also launching another product on Indiegogo. And this is their E-Wagon W1 Pro, which is an actual battery powered little wagon that you can take really anywhere. And it's actually powered by the same U battery plus battery pack. So you can use this with the power station, but also you can use this with this wagon. So yeah, you just slide this battery into this battery compartment that's also rated IPX4 for water resistance. So it'll help keep the battery protected from rain and water and stuff. And this also does come with this orange safety key. So this whole wagon will not work without this safety key installed. So you do have a little bit of peace of mind there. But now with the battery installed, you'll get around 30 minutes of runtime to be able to use this wagon and then now when the battery dies you can just go ahead and pop it out and then take another one of these batteries that you might have lying around or in the power station and then now plug that in and get another 30 minutes so this wagon does have a 500 watt motor to power this bad boy and you do get rear wheel drive and the front wheels will be able to swivel for navigation and you also get some foot brakes too to keep this thing in place and these tires are eight inch multi-terrain wheels so you can take this thing in grass gravel dirt a little bit of mud maybe and you do get a decent amount of torque with this thing too so it's able to go up 10 degree hills and this power is important because this thing can carry up to 132 pounds of gear or whatever else you have in it and it also can support around 200 liters of just overall storage and that's when you are using the built-in tailgate that you can slide down to give you a little bit extra room. And the actual wagon weighs around 33 and a half pounds and it does fold up to make it a little bit easier to transport. So you can load this thing up in the back of your car or your SUV or whatever you're driving. And because this is made to go off road, you do have 80 millimeters of obstacle clearance. So you shouldn't be bottoming out as much as you might think with something like this. And the material used inside of the cart is 600D high density Oxford fabric. So I don't really know exactly what that is, but it should be nice against protecting from like scratches and tears and stuff like that. When you are putting stuff in and taking stuff out and then you also do get some tie downs that come with this as well so if you do have a little bit of a top heavy load you can use those tie downs to keep everything secure all right let me show you this thing in action so the operation is pretty simple so you have this handle right here that does stand up by itself but it can go all the way to the ground but basically you have three types of different operations with this so first is this unlock slash lock button here so you do have to press this in before you can actually start using this cart so once you have this pressed in you can squeeze down on kind of like this trigger here that's right on the uh, top part on the handle and then now after you do that you can release that lock button and then now just hold on to the trigger and the cart will be going like this and so yes pretty simple the motor doesn't like start like with any type of jerky motion so it's a pretty smooth start to it and then of course you just release that trigger and then now the cart will stop and then you do have this variable dial here that you can use to adjust the power of the motor so you can go down pretty low and then also go up pretty high and neither one is like too extreme but yeah you can dial that in to get the exact type of power and speed that you need for the terrain that you're going on or just what you're doing and the turning radius is you know not going to be like nascar tight or anything but it's pretty decent as you can see I'm getting around there like so. All right, so now I'm taking on manual control of my drone because you probably saw it almost hit those power lines, which would have been bad. That would have messed up my day, uh, but luckily it didn't. All right, so what I'm about to attempt right now is pretty steep. This is probably the maximum that I would do. A lot of rocks over here and I'm going downhill a little bit first. So let's go ahead and get this thing going. And so I probably have like maybe 
I don't know, 80 to 90 pounds worth of gear down here. And I really don't even need the motor that much. And so I'm just gonna go halfway. And you can see right now, like this is pretty rocky. Now the tough part is going to be turning around here. So I have a very tight turning radius. So I'm gonna pick up the cart a little bit. And we're gonna start from a complete dead stop and see how this thing handles this. And here we go. So again, I have like the power station back here. I have like my Xbox Series S. I have this portable display. I have a backpack full of some camera gear. I have a couple of chairs and tables in here. And look at this. I'm not even like trying hard. This thing just ate that hill up with no problem. Now, one thing I would like to see in the next version of this will be a reverse function because if you are using it and you stop and you want to go backwards, the rear wheels do give you like a little bit of a delay before you can actually push it with no like effort. So if you do try to push it like right after you stop, it's going to be a little stiff. But after like a few seconds now, you'll be able to move the cart around like this. But ultimately, if the next version has a reverse button, that would be pretty sweet. Now, there is one accessory that for me is kind of a uh, necessity, and this is this foldable table attachment that you can buy along with this. So this thing comes in a bag that you just open up the bag and you take out a couple of poles and those poles will have some attachments that you put on the actual like frame of this wagon. And then now you can take this table board that just rolls out and it has a couple of places where you can lash that down onto those poles. And now you have an instant table. So I can basically take my iPad Pro, which is somewhere in here, there it is. And uh, you can use your laptop, you can use practically anything else that you want to use on this. And now I have basically a little portable workstation here along with my coffee here. And I also think that you can take these poles and put them inside and then actually raise this table board up a few inches. And now you'll be able to get into the contents of this wagon, but also still have a tabletop. That's gonna be a little bit more closer to your eye level, but that's just another adjustment that you can make. But overall, yeah, this thing is really nice to have for when I finally get to my destination. And as I mentioned with the power station, this isn't just only for use when you are outdoors and stuff. You can use this at home. Maybe you might be a little bit limited with your mobility and stuff. You can use this cart to bring in all of your groceries in one single trip. Now this E-Wagon W1 Pro is also starting off as an Indiegogo campaign. So this has a Indiegogo price of $199, but it will have a normal price of $419. And the U-Battery Plus power stations have an Indiegogo price of $29. And that normal price will be $59 and the aluminum table board as an add-on will be $29 Indiegogo price and $59 normal. So I will be putting the Indiegogo links, product links, all this stuff here for the products that I talk about in this video down in the description of this video. So make sure you check those out. But yeah, I think that's about it. I'm about to go have some fun in the woods behind me. Actually, I'm lying. I'm about to go play some Xbox. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think about these products. Give this video a like if you did like it. But like always, I do want to thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.